News 8. I am pleased to welcome from Canandaigua Emergency Squad the Chief Matt Sproul back to the program along with the Lieutenant Arnie LaRocca. Great to have you both in studio. Welcome. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for us. Our topic is, is on the monitor behind us. It's called Stop the Bleed. Uh, and Arnie, you've got one of the kits, these Stop the Bleed kits in your hands. Yes. We'll get to the contents of that in a moment. But Matt, first I want to start with you. What is this kit about? What's the origin of the idea behind it? The origin of the Stop the Bleed kit was from an unfortunate event that happened to a six-year-old named Jacob Hall down in South Carolina. Uh, he was shot during recess and passed away due to bleeding. Uh, the community got together afterwards and started making kits such as this to try to help prevent this from happening to others. All right, uh, Arnie, let's get a look at that kit. Tell us what's inside. How do these kits, quote-unquote, stop the bleed? Well, to start with, you have protective gloves, gauze, hemostatic gauze, which is, has a chemical in it to basically stop a bleed, mm -hmm. a tourniquet, a pair of scissors, and once you place a tourniquet, it has a marker in there so you can write down the time and uh, the date on when you place the tourniquet. So to start with, you take the gauze, put direct pressure on the wound. If that doesn't work, then you go into possibly the hemostatic, um, if that doesn't stop it, then you place the tourniquet. Tourniquet goes on about two inches above the wound. You tighten it down until the bleed stops. Lock it in place. And then you write the time down. And time is the key word here, right? Time mm -hmm. is of the essence. Obviously, you guys know how to use this, but you're trying to help other people learn how to use these kits and have them at their disposal so that they can start using them before you even arrive, right? right. Yep. Canandaigua Emergency Squad has been collaborating with the safety committees of the school system in Canandaigua mm -hmm. to try to get these kits and training distributed to all the faculty and school dis uh, buildings. You yeah. want to do this program, but you got to get the kits first to be able to distribute them and then teach faculty and staff how to use them, right? We do. The kits are about $50 a piece, and Canandaigua Emergency Squad is looking for sponsors to help purchase the kits through us so we can distribute them. Arnie, take us into the moment. How much of a lifesaver can having something like this handy be when you're talking about severe bleeding? Okay, severe bleeding, if it's an arterial bleed, you possibly have up to five minutes before a person actually bleeds out. Bottom line, these are lifesavers, aren't they? They are. All right, uh, so thank you, first of all, for coming in. We appreciate it. So here's where you get involved. They're looking for donations to help purchase these kits, distribute them throughout the school district in Canandaigua, and then teach folks how to use them as well. Here's how you can get involved and help these guys with this important cause. CanandaiguaES.org is the website, or you can call them directly at 394-5860 to help get these Stop the Bleed kits and make a difference in the lives of these youngsters in the school district there. If you missed any of our conversation, as always, we're sharing it online. You'll find it at rochesterfirst.com.